Hi everyone, welcome back to Clock Tower. First things first, uh, the movie this game is based upon, I believe is called Phenomena, not, not Supernatural or Supernatural. And second thing is that the protagonist's name is Jennifer. Third thing is that his arm in the mirror right here, to survive it you're supposed to use the action button, and the action button is B, not A or Y, it's B. That's why I died, because if you don't know what the action button is, you obviously cannot survive that. Anyway, we absolutely need that perfume to finish the game. Yes, yes, it smells like mixed berries. Now, we need to kill this bird, because there's a hiding spot here, under this bed, I believe. And as long as this bird is here, it's not gonna work, because the bird is just gonna... It's gonna tell the villain uh, where we are. Oh, shut up, you stupid bird. We already killed it before, so I'm just gonna fast forward here. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, but I, I ran a bit here, so that now obviously my uh, panic meter, or health, let's say, is a little low. Well, not a little low, but it's damaged. Uh... <laughs> yeah, when uh, when there's no music and all of a sudden music starts, that's that's great for getting uh, us on our putting us on our toes, you know. Okay, everyone here knows what this is, but I'll do it anyway. We have to. The, the game is obviously pushing us to do this. I'm pretty sure we don't have to, but we we, we, we do. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this curtain. Oh, also, I'm using SNES 9X now instead of ZSNES. It's, uh, oh, Laura? Yeah, Laura. Ah! Oh, crap, I forgot. There's actually an encounter here. Oh, my goodness. I thought, I thought uh, that we were only supposed to see her dead, not, not anything else. Get out, get out, get out. Get out! Don't watch him go into the foreground! Ah! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah! Ah, my panic meter was all red, so I could not survive that at all. Great. Okay, but... Uh, I'm back here, but here's the thing about horror games. Uh, now that we already know what's gonna happen when we enter there... Do we really want to? I suppose not. Even though the plot really calls for it. Yep. Just gonna ignore that door. Nothing to see in there. Nothing to see. And, you know, technically, our friend is not truly dead until we see her. Until we see that she's dead. Oh, but, uh... <laughs> Instead, we get to see our other friend dying here. And the frame rate really could have improved here. Actually, I think it was supposed to be, like, slowed down. So now Anne is dead instead of Laura. Yep, get out, get out! Freaking taking too much of her time, Jennifer. Oh, uh, incidentally, our villain kind of teleports. And we always run when we... Uh, no, no, in here, in here. We always run... When we're being pursued by uh, Scissor Man right here, be surprisingly small because he's, he is in fact a child, and the light is off for some reason now. Anyway, hide behind or under this bed. Bird is dead, so we will not tell Scissor Man where we are. Nice animations, by the way. Yeah, see, he doesn't even open doors. Then again, not, neither do we for this one. <laughs> so music stopped, that means we're not being pursued anymore. I, I would hope. <laughs> Put the light on. Um, I actually checked the wiki. Yeah, we can open the door actually, okay. I actually checked the wiki and the actual art for this game is a little weak. <laughs> Oh, actually, we probably wanted to check inside here anyway. There might be some stuff for us to find.
stuff that is useful for us to finish the game. <laughs> Not our dead friend. And unfortunately, we're in, we're in, we're all red now, so it's absolutely not a good idea for us to hang around here anymore. We would probably want to rest. To rest, you basically just have to, like, sort of kind of crouch. Oh, that's a, that's our item menu. We hold A for the item menu. So I guess, uh, X doesn't do anything. And what was that sound? I heard a sound. What was it? Oh, I guess it was nothing. Can I please just relax? I want to restore my health meter. Uh, as long as I'm red like this, I cannot survive an encounter with Scissor Man. If you're, if you're not red, you can... Uh... Oh, it's a phone. As, if, as long as you're not uh, red, you can survive an encounter with him by using the panic event. Anyway, just gonna stand here. Just gonna stand here. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna relax. Automatically. Right? Please restore your health, Jennifer. At least a bit. Incidentally, Scissor Man can appear randomly if you do not encounter him for a long time. Okay, it's not working. Maybe just walking around will work. Uh... This is the kitchen. Let's see what's inside here. Actually, I should, probably should have opened the light. Gas tanks for a stove. Okay. There's definitely something here that I have to find, but... What? Stay open, light, please. Casting through stove. Light's not working properly. There's the fridge. There's something here. Whatever. Today's date is marked. Which one is it, Jennifer? Ah. What about in here? A ham was put in here. Ham is useful. It helps feed us and other people that may want to eat us. There's something shiny in here, but there's tons of insects too. Tons of insects. No, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Uh, I think I might not even survive this because I have the, like, red health. We need insecticide to get rid of insects, obviously. Huh. <sighs> Thankfully, they did not pursue us after we passed through a door. Thankfully, neither does Scissor Man, but he has ways around the mansion. He has his ways. Actually, there's supposed to be a new game for Cl Clock Tower. It's, like, inspired by it, not actually Clock Tower, because the director is, does not own the rice anymore, but... He kickstarted a new game, and the new game uh, has a scissor walker because it's a woman, and it cannot be called Scissor Man because he does not own the rights. I've looked at it; it doesn't look that interesting to me. But it was a long time ago; it was Kickstarter, so maybe it's good now. Uh, there's a car here, and we can enter it. The keys aren't here. Um, if we find the keys, maybe we can start it. Uh, however, if you interact with this car properly three times, you can escape with it. Obviously, it doesn't lead to a very good end, however. Except, it's actually possible to glitch the game. And if you glitch it properly and escape with the car, you will in fact get a good end. Or rather, you will get an end that doesn't say you died. It's a little weird like that. There's also an end where if you go too fast or too slow or something like that and glitch the game, even if you do everything right to the, for the S ending, you'll get uh, an ending where you die. <laughs> How do I sit? Maybe it's the action button. 
And where's that phone? It's probably upstairs. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go in this door. The areas are a little repetitive. I mentioned this before. They really are a little repetitive. Anyway, yeah, locked, obviously. Cannot look through the windows. Nothing over here. Can go in this door. Uh, actually, it's probably locked, but I'll check anyway. It's not locked. Hmm. Yeah, see? This area looks very similar. I wonder what's in this window. A swimming pool. Well, at least no one's, uh, you know, skinny dipping. <laughs> you know, with their blood. Locked. Actually, that door looked open to me. Oh no, it's stuck? Hmm. That was strange. How uh, do I say it? I want to restore my health. It's too bad I can't just, like, eat herbs or any type of food to survive. Or maybe it's X. Maybe that's what it is. X to, survive, to, to restore my health. Oh, okay, so X does something. X is to stop your character and to make her sit to restore her health over time. You don't really have to hold it, you just have to press it. So brown means we can survive one encounter, which there's a man. Jeez, it takes, takes a really long time for us to restore our health. Okay, green means we can survive... Well, actually, it's sort of kind of yellowish, but... At this amount of health, we can survive probably two encounters with Scissor Man. And blue means we're at full health. Okay, good. Now we're ready to explore this mansion. And what the hell? There's a door over there? Huh. And yeah, because I'm running, I'm losing a bit of health, but green is okay. Green is okay. Now that we know how to restore our health, helps a lot. And we're not going to be encountering Scissor Man very soon. The, the whole, the random encounter is quite rare. They don't, it, because the phone keeps creeping me out, jeez. The random encounter with Scissor Man rarely happens because you're usually going to meet him by the preset encounters instead. Yeah, one of the greatest weaknesses animation-wise is watching Jennifer walk up those staircases. She has to do it several times, no less. Did you guys know that this game is actually on the Japanese Wii and Wii U? I suppose if you region free your Wii or Wii U, you will actually be able to... Yeah, locked. You will actually be able to play this game on those consoles. Okay, kind of neat. But having a fast-forward key helps a lot. With making this experience a little less agonizing. Even though you really want to take your time. Uh, locked again. What is this? Silent Hill? Here we go. There's a crate here. Hopefully it doesn't contain Scissor Man. I don't like surprises. I really do not. Nothing. Good. What's up here? A bird nest. There's a plank of wood here. Uh. Hmm. Probably something I'm supposed to do here, maybe. Yes, it is a bird nest, and we know that, Jennifer. What are we supposed to do with it, however? I don't know. Nothing's inside. But wh what, Jennifer? Don't do that! What's the point? Okay, whatever. Can't. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. We'll figure it out later. Go over here. Um, hmm. Okay, what's here? And what's here? 
cans of something. Something. Some rope. Got some rope. Always need rope. Horror game. Need some rope. Cans of insecticide. Yeah, oh, we got the insecticide. Cool. That means we can go back to the uh, kitchen to get rid of all those insects. Um, I don't know if there's anything over the other side. It is. I do remember this. So this is a good hiding spot. If you're looking to hide yourself from Scissor Man, you just have to continue to click, and you have to go through an action event, but you'll go behind this thing, and you're you're completely protected. Ah, uh, the switch is broken. That's lame. You're completely protected if you go behind that uh, wall. Guaranteed. You're kind of stuck on a corner, however. Okay, going back to the kitchen now. Okay. I believe we need to activate a menu. Insecticide. Here. D here, yes. Apply insecticide. Here. To, you basically you activate the menu by pressing A, you go over insecticide, and then the, your cursor turns into the insecticide, and you apply it to whatever you want. Spray the insecticide! Die, bugs, die! Cool. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was like we needed like another can. A key is left behind! Pocketed the gold key. Is there a secret passage here? I, I vaguely remember a secret passage. Some drinks. Uh, we do not want to drink those drinks. I believe, if I recall correctly, that if you check that uh, those drinks uh, twice, you'll actually try one of them and they uh, knock you unconscious and put you in a place that is very much undesirable. We have the ham, so we're <coughs> protected, but we're gonna, let's just say we're gonna be chased by two people, in a, in a sense. Although not really, it's just Scissor Man that really t chases us. Uh, did we actually use a key here? No, this this area again, Never mind. Hmm, do we have to actually manually choose gold key? No, we don't. Where is that phone? It's probably upstairs. Oh, it's not over here. What a waste of time. Oh, okay. Gold key goes over here. Or maybe... Um. Yeah, Miss Mary. You're really, really nice. No, don't run towards her, please! Ah, uh, sheesh, no. No, not everything's gonna be just fine. This is the wrong thing to do. How should I have known that a gold key would lead to Miss Mary? Yeah, that's what that's what people do to make you relax, Jennifer. They give you a drink. It'll calm me down a bit too much. Jennifer, you dumb... Ah! I might as well have just drank the stuff in the kitchen if this was going to happen. Well, we're still protected, but we're going to some place I did not want to go to. Get up, Jennifer. Get up. That's Mr. Barrows. He wants food. What? Uh, what? No! The ham! Ah! Oh, I was about to give him the ham! And yes, that's supposed to be buying sounds. I was about to give him my ham! Could he not just be patient for three more seconds? Ugh. This is why this place is so un undesirable. Well, it starts us back here. You know what? I'm just gonna quick save or get myself up. Yeah, so 
We were Eden. We're going to give this guy a ham next time. And we're going to continue from this spot. Because I'm playing this game semi-blind. Hope you've all enjoyed this video. And hope you have a nice day. Hopefully next time we're going to survive this. Bye-bye.